The epistemological proposition of artistic research is, therefore, for academies and research institutions to adopt metacognition as a modified notion of knowledge and intersubjectivity as a modified notion of validation. This would require overcoming simplistic conceptions of a wall between science and art, with objectivity on one side and subjectivity on the other. Indeed, in regards to the purity of the scientific method, it has been long known that even the most pure forms of research are shaped by intuition, creativity and or spontaneous experimental practice, what Michael Polanyi coined the tacit dimension. It is a simplification to claim that the scientific method is purely objective, rational and verbally compatible, and that scientists don't work with intuitive, embodied and tacit knowledge. And in regards to art, it is clear to those that practice it regularly that producing art requires a combination of genius and technical skills, where artists can demonstrate cognitive knowledge of a work in addition to the expressive. It would also be a simplification to claim that artistic practice is purely intuitive, embodied and tacit, is antipodal to objective and rational thought, and cannot be expressed, at least partially, if not substantially, in words. As such, it is clear that neither the concept of science nor the concept of art is a settled issue amongst those who have thought about it most deeply. I propose instead to consider objectivity in academic research as a spectrum, one which may range from the testing of formal mathematical models of learning through controlled laboratory experiments to the kind of studies done in the field of cultural anthropology by people like Robert Redfield. Positioning artistic intersubjectivity as a new element. Let us consider a spectrum of research, ranging from mathematical models, which provide the most extreme distance between subject and object, since measurements themselves are the basis for logic-based theories and their subsequent testing. Laboratory experiments, which may provide replica replicable environments, albeit within certain variables, in which to make certain measurements as pertaining to these variables and test them by recreating these environments. Historical interpretations, which provide discourse informed by historical facts, they themselves pertaining to certain variables, and which can be discussed critically based on the same or similar variables. Anthropological studies, which involve the documentation and analysis of unique, that is to say non-replicable, interactions between human subjects and human objects. And then posit a new kind of research, that of artistic research projects, which strive for an increase of individual metacognition in the artistic practice of the researcher and subsequent documentation so that it can resonate intersubjectively with others. The acceptance of this epistemological proposition would present a paradigm shift in knowledge production. Nevertheless, be consistent with a long-standing intellectual trend where one can see the progressive adoption over decades and even centuries of different fields of study by the academy. After all, what is academia when not the ability to adapt one's views constructively to the presence of new thought?